Hi, it's Ross from SDS. Welcome back to the channel and video number 84. Today we'll be doing a short video on SDS Basics. What does it do? What does it do for me? I've had a few requests to do uh, such a video and hopefully this will answer some of those questions. SDS EFI has been in operation since 1994, supplying aviation since 1995. We've produced approximately 2,000 systems in that time for aviation and about 10,000 systems in total. And our systems have been used on everything from 40 knot trikes to 400 knot Reno racers. In aviation, we've supplied systems for Volkswagen, Jabiru, Rotax, Continental, Lycoming, Rotorway, Suzuki, Honda, GM, Subaru, and a few other makes as well. And what our EFI basically does is replace uh, legacy carburetors, mechanical injection servos and magnetos with more modern electronic controls. Here's a photo of a four-cylinder light combing system and we have systems to fit uh, several other engines as well. And the EFI replaces carburetors and servos like this with a throttle body and computer like this. Magnetos like this are replaced with coil packs, four cylinder or six cylinder as shown here. Engine driven fuel pumps are replaced by twin electric pumps. Fuel pressure is maintained at a constant differential over manifold pressure with this fuel pressure regulator. Electronic fuel injectors like this replace uh, Bendix type mechanical fuel injectors. Our cylinder head temperature sensors go into the primer ports on Lycoming's, as shown here. Here's the uh, coil pack and fuel distribution block up on top. Side view of the same components here. Here's the coil pack in place of the old magneto. SDS is fully programmable using the panel mount programmer, as shown here. This allows you to adjust all parameters and uh, suit any type of engine. We still maintain the uh, manual mixture knob as shown here up on top of the panel. Here's a clean switch layout on an RV10 with the uh, fuel pump, coil switches, etc. Okay, this frame shows a Lycoming IO540 engine with the SDS EFI on it. Uh, up on top here we've got uh, one of the coil packs mounted up on top of the case. The other coil packs mounted in the right magneto hole down here. Up here is the uh, fuel distribution block and the fuel lines which go to the injectors. And this one's got uh, the SDS valve covers. It's not uh, part of the system but uh, that's a nice uh, addition. Down here you can also see the throttle body. We'll have a, a better picture of that later on. And uh, in the very front here is the hall sensor and, and mount. And here's a better picture of the throttle body. And in this frame we've got a Continental IO550 engine with the SDS EFI. And a little bit different setup than the Lycoming, but a lot of the same basic components. Up on top here we've got uh, both coil packs. These mount uh, where the original magnetos used to go. Uh, spark plug adapters. Injectors. These uh, use bosses which have to be welded to the intake tubes. There's no other solution to, to get them into the cylinder heads on these engines. And uh, air temp sensors here. And we'll have another picture of this showing a different perspective. And here we've got a shot from the front of the uh, IO550 engine. Uh, I see the coil packs here again. Injectors. Air temp sensors. And we've got cylinder head temperature sensors here. And you can see the uh, fuel block. This is a baffle mounted one. Fuel lines come in from the fuel pump out to the regulator behind the baffling. And then you've got the six lines going to each of the injectors here. So the main reasons we see people replacing old mechanical fuel injection and carburetor systems and magnetos is uh, reduced maintenance with the EFI, probably a little bit better fuel economy, smoother running, we can trim individual cylinders in flight, better cold starting, and an elimination of hot start problems uh, pretty common with Bendix mechanical type fuel injection systems. So that's it for this video. I hope it answered a few more of your questions. 
And I really want to thank everybody for watching and subscribing to the channel. Uh, by the time this is uploaded, we'll have reached about 125,000 total views, which is uh, pretty amazing. And we'll see you next time. Bye for now.